sa kakatawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. and sisters, faith without action is dead. Ang pagtuo nga dili ubanan o maayong buhat patay. Faith and action must always be together. They cannot be separated. These two are twins. One cannot live without the other because God has joined them together. In James 2.24 it says, You see, then that it is by our action that we are put right with God and not by our faith alone. And even in verse 26 it says, So then, as the body without spirit is dead, also faith without action is dead. Therefore, brothers and sisters, faith without action is dead. Hello, hello! May adlaw na itong tanan. O sa makausa pa, welcome din ng atong tuluman nun, Faith and Action sa CCTN Channel 47. Karong adlaw, doon nag-iot taon tayo, espesyal nga dinapit, no? Pero sa dili pa, hello tatay, how are you? Well, uh, mayong buntag tayo. Mayong buntag. Uh, I just arrived last night after a week of travels no, from Sambuanga to Manila and then last night I was able to I have to come home because of this uh, wonderful uh, yeah. that time and uh, you look uh, sprightly no? uh, yes. despite the very hectic schedule by Friday I will be in Cagayan again, again wow will, uh, today atong ikauban mga igala ang Osaka well traveled and much sought after speaker who has been around many countries around the world. Akong kita na ang iyahang ang mga notes, mga kaigsunan, bahin hini nga itong mahinugdanon kaayong nga dinapit karong adlaw. He has been to 38 countries all over the world for the past 20 or 30 years. Without further ado, atong dapi atong gi welcome hini nga itong programa si Father Peter Rusakiewicz of the Congregation of St. Michael the Archangel, CSMA, Father Peter. It's good of you to come to Cebu and drop by CCTN. Thank you very much for inviting me. As you said, my name is Father Peter. I am a, a Polish person, so I have the Polish blood, not Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> And I was born in Poland by the grace of God, and I am very blessed to be in your studio and to take part in this wonderful program to promote the good news also from the Polish perspective. Great Father. And it's good that you are quite conversant with media because you publish a quarterly magazine and you have a podcast and a webcast. Good of you, Father. Yes, well, uh, to be honest, let me show to the viewers. This is our magazine dedicated to the Divine Mercy and to the angels. The title is The Angels Messengers from a Loving God. I belong to the congregation of St. Michael the Archangel, but also I was involved in the Divine Mercy Apostolate. So. My superior appointed me to be the, the editor-in-chief of the Angels magazine. We've done it in Polish for 30 years and then in English for over 10 years. But during COVID-19, we started creating YouTube channel because to help the people to receive the good news. So I feel well at home in this studio and to be with you and grateful that you do a lot of work to bring the good news to the people 
they cannot speak Polish, but probably they speak Bisaya, Tagalo, and <laughs> right. English, and this yes, is your mission. Yes, however, because, uh, you know, Filipinos are practically all over the world because uh, of uh, our skilled uh, professionals in healthcare, in construction, in, uh, how to call that, uh, tourism. So many Filipinos are all over the world, I'm sure. And I heard, I think we have an embassy in Krakow, whatever it is, Father. I also would like to mention here that during the pandemic, uh, Father Dodong was able to come up with a strategy for people to still go to the confessional <laughs> by putting them in a cubicle, and then there is the priest over here, and so they are able to hear each other by virtue of some technical gadgets. I will show gadgets. them later on. Yes, mm -hmm. I will show them later on. Because confession was banned during the time it was only uh, pandemic. Restrictions. Yes, restrictions. So what I did is the place where the priest will stay and then the penitent will be both left and right. I condemn this and then the penitent will be this side and then the other side is the priest, then I have my microphone, then they can talk to each other with distance. Mm. So, Father Peter, tell us more about the CMS, CSMA, your congregation. C CSMA, it stands for Congregation of St. The, no, of St. Michael the Archangel. Congregation di San Michele Arcangelo okay. in Italiano. Our congregation was founded by a Polish priest, Blessed Father Bronisław Markiewicz, and it was founded over 100 years ago in 1922. Altogether, we have about 300 plus priests and brothers. We are spread out in 14 countries, but our main charism is to bring up children and teenagers, plus spread the devotion to St. Michael the Archangel. So we are the part of the Salesians family. Mm -hmm. So we have schools, orphanages, oratories, but also we spread the devotion to St. Michael, and if you go to Italy, to the apparition cave of St. Michael, from where we, this statue comes from, you can find my brothers and sisters who are the guardians, the custodians of the shrine. Not far from here, here in Australia and in Papua New Guinea, we have some missionaries who are trying to bring the charism of our founder to the local people. So this is our, our, our charism. And also we, we do some missionary work because we are spread out, as I said, in 14 countries. So only 60% of uh, members of our congregation work in Poland. The others work in for foreign countries. Do you have a mission in the Philippines, Father? No, no, maybe not yet. Not yet. Maybe it will come in the future because, uh, as you said before, the devotion to St. Michael is spreading out in the Philippines little by little. So when I came here, many people appeared. They showed up for the events. They are very attentive, they listen to the message, they receive the scapular of St. Michael, and they consecrate and trust themselves to St. Michael the Archangel. Nowadays, St. Michael is very, very needed for the whole world, for the Philippines, for Poland. And in my case, because I was involved in the Divine Mercy Apostolate, I was serving the sisters as a chaplain, so actually they sent me to foreign countries to talk about the Divine Mercy. But when I started talking about the people said, Father, Father, you are from the Order of St. Michael, tell us also about St. Michael. 
and I realized that there is a big connection between Saint Michael and the Divine Mercy, a very strong, which appears in the in the Bible and in the Diary of Saint Faustina. So we can kill two birds mm. in one in stone, stone for the glory of God and for the benefit of of the people who come for the events. Are they, yes, this sir, is Father. not a coincidence, because my guardian angel, my warrior angel is Saint Michael. In my younger days, when I was still a single, later on maybe I will let my wife tell you the story, how I fought physically the devil. Because Saint Michael is holding a sword always, and that is my mastery. But ours is, we call that a screamer, using That's the stick uh, as a sword. That's yeah. how I fight, no? The audience there is my wife. We are still, uh, during that time, we are sweetheart. And, uh, we encountered it in the mountain. No? I think that will be a great article for your quarterly magazine, Father. Yes, so? uh, yeah, yeah, I have to interview you. Afterwards. <laughs> Father, Would you agree? <laughs> yeah, why well, not? <laughs> Father, you yeah. mentioned that uh, the devotion to St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, is very much needed at this time. Why do you say that? Well, because the devil is working very hard, so we need to pray to St. Michael more, to get more weapon mm. for our spiritual welfare. And Saint Michael is a very special angel, appointed by God and uh, and equipped by God for this spiritual warfare. He is stronger than any other angels. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Holy Father wrote the prayer. It's called Saint Michael's prayer. Mm-hmm. And in that prayer, we say, "And you, let me read it. And you." The prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into her Satan and all the evil spirits. You, so only Saint Michael, and against Saint Michael we find Satan and all the other evil spirits. One against many. By the power of God, who is stronger? Saint Michael. And Saint Michael wants to be invoked. Invoked. To be prayed you are a good man you help me anyway but when i turn to you and ask you for help you will help me more willingly because i express my need my desire so we need to we need to be humble and to ask the lord for everything and in response to our requests god sends us saint michael the archangel and saint michael is also to prevent us, protect from all kinds of evil. It's better not to get sick than to get sick and to recover, because it takes time to recover and sometimes your immune system is weaker. So it's better not to get into the bad things. And that's why St. Michael is like, I call him a bodyguard. Mm-hmm. a soul guard mm-hmm. so he works behind the scenes in anticipation of what is going to happen so I do recommend to the young people let me show to wear the scapular of Saint Michael this is my scapular yeah. of Saint Michael and pray to Saint Michael daily N- not only when they have temptations but in advance, in advance, for protection. for protection, exactly. And this is the statue of Saint Michael. In many countries, this replica of the statue goes from one parish to another. So it's like a visitation of the statue of Saint Michael. And he is present, and people experience many graces. So you see the globe. Because St. Michael is not only for the Philippines, yeah. not only for Poland, but for, for, the the whole, whole for the whole world. He is from heaven, and he is given to every single person. Father, 
uh, they say that the devotion to the divine mercy is, I mean, the divine mercy devotion is for the end times. And then the devotion to St. Michael the Archangel, I think there is really a, a connection there. Please comment. Uh, I, I couldn't agree with you more because Jesus said to St. Faustina, Help me, my daughter, to save souls. Save souls. Because they are losing their salvation. They are heading the wrong way. So thanks to the Divine Mercy, may also praying for the hardened sinners, praying for the dying, we can s save many souls. For me, it was very important that Jesus was saying keep keep praying for the dying, keep praying for the hardened sinners the most pr uh, pleasing prayer to me is the prayer for the hardened sinners yes, yes. and the same because it's with Saint Michael because God said to Saint Michael help me to save souls and so many people are helpless, hopeless. They, they, they feel that they, they are very weak. That's why they are attacked by the devil. So they collapse very easily. And that's why Saint Michael is coming to help them. So it's first of all, it's our spiritual uh, war individual but then this is the war in the societies in the Europe where I live it's getting very, very liberal so they are taking the classes of the Catholic, Catholic faith out of, of school they are getting the crosses out of the walls yes. so it's getting more secular and Saint Michael is saying who is like God don't don't throw God from, from your life because there is no other way towards holiness. What are you doing? Who is like God? Bring God back. Bring God back. And I will help you to fight with all kinds of evil. And the same with the Divine Mercy. The Divine Mercy message is God loves you. Don't reject his love. Come to him for forgiveness. Start again. He will lead you, trust in him, surrender to him. So this is the, the greatest calling nowadays. You practically preempted my question, Father, because uh, fortunately religion is still central to the life of Filipinos. Although we are being attacked from all sides by the secular world, but uh, we are still, you know, majority of our population is uh, Catholic. So how do Filipino Catholics, you know, struggle? Or perhaps, uh, how do they navigate this na secular world, Father? Yeah, well, I've been to the Filipinos three times. This is my third, to the Philippines, three times. This is my third time. The first mission was took about a week. I was invited by Mia and uh, Anton. Anton Gonzalez. They kidnapped me. I was <laughs> in their hands and they took me to different parishes. So we have visited 14 venues in one, one week. And then we had a short mission in February. This is my visit in Cebu. So I have a very great respect for the Filipinos because you are a very special country chosen by God to you are like the chosen nation you are blessed so much by the Lord and you appreciate what it has been given to you faith is a very important part of your life of your culture you pray every day, even the whole day. This is my impression. Doesn't matter if people are rich or, or poor or in the middle class. They just keep praying. They put God in the center of their lives. 
I know that you can complain that it's getting a little bit worse. Always it could be like this, better time, better times at, at, at worse times. But what, what is important for your church is just also to be together in the community of brothers and sisters, to pray together, to meet up. You have a lot of prayer groups and uh, you are the people of prayer. You appreciate every holy mass. I was surprised to see many people who came for the events in Cebu. It was a good number, and the people were very open. Nobody was sleeping, apart from me, because I had a jet lag. <laughs> so I, I, I was about to sleep, but they were saying, Father, talk to us, we are hungry for God. We are hungry. So this appetite should be always fresh, fresh appetite for the spiritual things and answering to God's calling, to God's calling. And also, as I say, the prayer of the whole community is important. Because of your prayers, you can save the country, you can save many people from, from the attacks of the, of, of the evil. Of the, you could be the missionaries for the future of the whole world, who knows? Yeah, Cebu's Catholic are more deeper. It's not that I am just talking because I'm a Cebuano. Because uh, here we have so many activities. And uh, mostly in Cebu, I think 90% are charismatic. Yes, when we were baptized, we received the Holy Spirit. We received the sanctifying grace and the sacramental grace. But the problem is, as we grow older, yes, as we grow older, that sanctifying grace was dormant and inactive. That is why when the Pope said, we have to reawaken, reawaken that gift that you have received. That's why mostly in Cebu, 90% I think is charismatic. They receive the, the invocation of the Holy Spirit. And I think that... Uh explains why the audiences, the people who go to your event, to your speaking yes. presentation are so attentive. Yes. And yeah, they're hungry for uh, fresh teachings of other people. Yeah, and it's always two hours and a half and they don't want to go home. Yes. yes. But I have to finish. But <laughs> we pray a lot to the Holy Spirit we pray a lot, so I realize that they must be charismatic. Yes. The Holy Spirit is working very hard. All and, the church is here. And I would say that this is what we need, the new Pentecost, mm. new, new descending of the Holy Spirit for every human heart to make it more active, more zealous. And even St. Michael is called by the early fathers of the church the breath the breath of the Holy Spirit. So where St. Michael is sent, the Holy Spirit is working. And even in the Divine Mercy image, you see white color, yes. the color of water, which water. is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. So, and Jesus is, is offering us his divine life, which is sanctifying grace, yes, yes. as you say, the Holy Spirit. So the Divine Mercy message and the message of St. Michael is about the spiritual renewal thanks to the Holy Spirit. So I think uh, I, this is what you experience here. Yeah, yeah. It's a real fruit of the work of the Holy Spirit. We have more or less around 200 churches in Cebu. Wow. Yeah. And um, all the uh, churches, they practice the uh, charismatic uh, invocation. Mm. Uh, we also, the to youth also are very active. Uh, we have introduced them. That's why few only in Cebu who are not Catholic. Because the seal, the, the Catholic faith defender, to me, when I organize this, is not 
to debate with other uh, denominations, but to let the Catholic faithful go deeper so that they cannot be swindled to the other side. <laughs> so they know how to answer. They know the uh, teaching that there is only one church that the Lord has built. Other denominations are man-made churches. It's only the Catholic Church that is established by Jesus. Yes, oh, yes. Mga Higala, padayono na itong atong programa. We pause for a commercial break and we'll be back. In the heart of Cebu lies an ideal place for the people on the go. Uncle Tom's Cabin Hotel gives guests a convenience of quick and easy access to Cebu's business centers, offers spacious rooms furnished with all the modern-day amenities. Uncle Tom's Cabin Hotel, located at MP Yap Street, Barangay Capital Site, Cebu City. For reservations, call 032-888-8667. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. you feel the warmth of the nation. Salamat. Padayon ta, dinig atong programa, Faith and Action, where of course Tatay Dodong Lemchua and our special guest is from Poland, a well-traveled, much sought-after international speaker. His uh, charism is St. Michael the Archangel and the Choir of Angels and uh, the Divine Mercy. And the Secretary of Divine Mercy, of course, is none other than Saint Faustina. And thank you, Father, for placing the relics of Saint Faustina in this uh, particular segment of our program. Uh, so this is, she is very happy to be in your place. You are very welcoming, and all the Filipinos are very hospitable. This is my impression. So it's a bone, a bone from her leg. Mm -hmm. The sisters gave me this relic because very often when I was going to proclaim the good news about the Divine Mercy, I was asking them, could you, uh, could you borrow the relic of Saint Faustina? So I did it many times, but they said, Father, you borrow the relic all the time from us, <laughs> so I will give you an extra relic for traveling. So this is the relic of Saint Faustina. And, and very she has been with you for how many years now? Oh, for 22 years. 22 oh. years. I started my ministry because of the will of God, 2002, and I've been to 42 countries. Some, or mainly I speak in English, but sometimes it translated into Portuguese, Spanish, or even brother Eugene was translating into Visaya wow. in one parish when we were in the mountain. And so very often we touch the, the forehead mm -hmm. and people pray and they receive graces because God can use the relics to distribute yeah. his graces. And Saint Faustina is very happy to come here. She, she doesn't need a visa. She doesn't need a passport. Mm -hmm. She is very international. She's the citizen of heaven. 
But remember that Jesus said to her, I have chosen you to be my secretary in this life and after death, after. So now she's not retired. <laughs> no. She's still working. She's still working. And you know what does it mean to be the secretary? It means to close to the manager. Right. And to know the password. Wow. <laughs> the pin, to have the key, <laughs> to have the key to the heart. I like the way you translate it to, you know, to the language, to the daily language, Father. Yes, that's and why we are supposed to pray, to pray to her. I'm not surprised that people are coming and they touch even the photo, the relic of the photographs of their beloved ones. They want St. Faustina to do something for them from the distance. And they are right. They are right. And also, you brought along a relic of St. Michael. Tell yeah, us about that. It's another relic, so called, because the angels are spiritual beings. So they don't have bodies, don't have material elements. Know, yeah. But St. Michael appeared. Uh, he looked like this in the cave, in the cave, and it was during the pandemic, so he offered the, the stone from the cave to give it to the people and to touch the people who were sick, and they received healing. Mm -hmm. So it happened a long time ago, but nowadays it's like a souvenir, but many people purchase it, the reliquiary, and they use it for prayer. Some of them even put it into the main door of the house, yeah. and next to the picture of St. Michael, and ask St. Michael to protect the house and to protect the family. What's more, we have the oil of St. Michael. It's another sacramental. Because we have sacraments and we have sacramentals. Yes. Sacramentals cannot replace the sacraments. Right. But they lead us to sacraments. So it's uh, the first step. The third step. And this is the oil of St. Michael. We have different oils. I have had the oil of Padre Pio, the, the oil of Santa Rita, Santa Rosa. and. Also, this oil was taken from the olive lamp where, when people were praying in front of the icon of St. Michael, they took the oil and they received healing. So nowadays it's another sacramental, it's a special blessing for it, and people anoint themselves with the prayer and they can experience spiritual or even physical graces. It's up to our faith. So it's not magic, but we, mm -hmm. we can use it and pray. Always the same with the scapular. It's not magic, but it's like a spiritual shield. I remember when I was in America, one American soldier was wearing the scapular under his uniform, and he said, Father, look at this. This is St. Michael. He has protected me for many years. I've been to Iraq, Afghanistan, very dangerous. And nothing happened to me. St. Michael has protected me. So this is what we have physical. But first of all, we are supposed to be spiritual, to be in mm -hmm. spiritual touch with St. Michael, because everything, as you said, is under the control of the Holy Spirit. But God can use physical things to distribute yes. His graces, like the water from Lourdes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So it's like something to help us in our spiritual life. The richness of the Catholic Church. We have the Holy Spirit, we have the sacraments, sacraments yeah. we have the angels, we have the saints, Saint, yeah. we have the relics, we have everything. <laughs> yes, the Blessed Mother, we have everything. 
what for to go to the poorer churches? Yeah. It's like losing all your treasures. Father, you mentioned that you've been around 40 countries worldwide. Well, what do you think are the most pressing problems of humanity at this time? Well, the, the, main, the main problem is not to play, place God in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have God, you will go to the extreme, to the strange things. You will kill the children, you will kill the elderly people. You have no rules, no commandments, and no inner happiness. So first of all, to put God again in the first place. Because if you don't have God, you need to replace him with something. Sometimes I see very strange things on the wall, and they say, Father, they bring me happiness. Good yeah, good luck. I, but I say, this is not real, this is just a, a thing, it is something, not someone. Let's go to someone. God, who is like God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? You can call him right now by your prayer. Invite him to your life. So I would say sometimes our rules, the law, the law cannot change the society. It cannot change the people's hearts. So if you are Catholic, you are Catholic, I am Catholic, we can build the community, we can change the society. So what you are doing in your media is very important, to make people aware, aware to bring them to God. Sometimes you don't know about the consequences of your ministry. Right. You just do and yeah. do and the do and pray. Is the good and, story. and pray. Yes. And right. sometimes it is the first step for the people to come back to, to Jesus. Because Father, they are far away from the church, far away from confession. But thanks to your ministry, they can start thinking about it and then to go further, further, further. And, and finally, Jesus will, will find them. What about technology like artificial intelligence, Father? Technology? Yeah. You mean, what do you mean? Uh, how do you think uh, these uh, new forms of technology like artificial intelligence, which, uh, you know, displaces what is created and replaced by what is constructed. Ah. So many people are worried about that father. Well, I would say when you have God in the first place, you can deal with everything. I would say we have to be creative. We have to be creative. God wants us to be creative mm -hmm. and not to replace our skill of being created by uh, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence can help the people to, to sum up, to collect the, the information, the news, because sometimes it's very helpful, it takes less time, but it should to be under control, under human control and under God's God's control, and sometimes we have to keep the, our own borders, not to go too far. You have your own border, or your own border, because whatever we see or listen to can always affect our souls. So you are supposed to be responsible for you, what you are watching, yeah, and, and, uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, also, who is your companion? Because your companions affect you. So we have to be very wise and cunning, as Jesus said, be cunning in a positive way. So we need a lot of light of the Holy Spirit. If you don't know what to do, we are supposed to ask the smart people. And if you make a mistake, you can improve it. It's human to make you a let mistake. The mistake be a lesson. Right. Exactly. We learn from mistakes. Yeah. 
it's better to, to learn from the mistakes of other people. It's less painful. But sometimes we learn from our oh, mistakes. Oh, yeah. and, and it's okay because we can make uh, good out of evil. God can do it for us. We, we say, Lord, I trust in you. I don't trust in my mind because I am getting older. I can make mistakes. I trust more in you than in my, in my, my thinking. And this is the way. Well, Jesus, I can relate I trust to that you. situation. Earlier, we had an exchange of gifts, and uh, after we received our gifts from Poland through the courtesy of Father Peter, uh, Tate Dodum also gifted him with a miniature uh, image of the Holy Child Jesus. So, no. can you pull that? <clears throat> That's one thirty-five. Thank you very much. Before I came to Cebu, they said to me in Cebu, they have a great devotion to the, the baby Santa Jesus, Holy Child. Ba baby Jesus. So it's a, a very special gift for me. I, I appreciate it. And one of my favorite places where I was was the place where Jesus was born, in Bethlehem. In Bethlehem and it reminds me of the spiritual childhood. We are the children of God. We call God Abba, Father. 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 So thank you very much. I, when I look at it, I will be praying for Cebu and the yeah. uh, people CCTM. from here. Yes. And your wonderful television station and all the people who work here. Father, uh, you came in here at the time when the Archdiocese is preparing for the 5th Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy. I think uh, if we were able to you know, get hold of your address and all that, your contact numbers like uh, me and Anton, we could have you know, invited you to be one of the speakers, but some other time perhaps, uh, Father. So. Uh, May we hear a message from you for the delegates of the Asian Apostolic Congress of Mercy, and this will be attended by uh, delegates from Asian countries, from even from Europe, because Father Chris Ayla, I think, is coming, and other clergy who have a deep devotion to the Divine Mercy, Father. God loves each one of you and he made you the apostles of the divine mercy so you are called to be the apostles of the divine mercy it's not enough to take care of your own salvation we are supposed to think about the salvation of the whole world so even when we do the chaplet we pray in the plural number mm -hmm have mercy on us and on the whole world. In my opinion, to be the apostles of the divine mercy is a very high level. Because sometimes I, I, I think about only myself, my peace, my love, my consolation, my soul, my joy, my joy. But Jesus wants us to go deeper, further, and to pray for the hardened sinners by saying the chaplet and to let everyone to know about God's love and mercy and we can do it by being the apostles of mercy in the Philippines you have great devotion to the divine mercy even at three o'clock mm. in some shops there is a silence and you are reminded to pray That's the chaplet. Three o'clock, three o'clock prayer. Yes. So that is also being prayed in shopping malls, Father. All right. Shopping yeah. Malls, yeah. yeah. So what I say, keep doing it, make more people for the divine mercy prayer groups and spread the message in the whole of Asia of Asia. Sometimes people say, oh, I don't care, well, I don't like this image. But later, when they are getting old, when they are getting <laughs> sick, they say, oh, I want to meet this person, Jesus Christ, because I need his mercy. I need forgiveness 
forgiveness. So I, I wish you all the best. May the Holy Spirit will help you to have a wonderful international congress of the divine mercy and, and bring many, many souls to heaven. You also came here, Father, two years after the Philippines celebrated 500 years of Christianity. We had a big celebration in 2021, although we uh, kind of uh, delayed it for another year because of COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, your visit is one of the fruits of our 500 years of Christianity, Father. Oh. So we are very much appreciation for your coming here. Congratulations to your country, 500 years. Oh, Poland is a little bit older, yes. <laughs> but there is no point to compare. But we appreciate every single day to being a Christian, to being a person to whom Jesus introduced himself every single day. It's a gift, but for the whole country is even better. Because in some countries, you, you see, which are not very Catholic, when I talk to the person who is who doesn't believe, because he was brought up in a not Catholic uh, yeah. family, I, when I say turn to Jesus, he doesn't know what I mean, because nobody has told him about Jesus. So actually, to be a Catholic is like to having new eyes, new glasses, to see more to experience something more, to be rich spiritually. So we should appreciate it and thank God every day for, for that. So may God bless the Philippines, Cebu. And the theme of that celebration, Father, as I listened to you, made me recall that the theme was gifted to give. Gifted to give. Gifted to give. So Father, uh, I understand that you also take care of uh, people going on pilgrimages to Poland. Tell us more about it. Correct. Because when I started doing the Angels Magazine and going to different countries and talking about Poland, the people said, Father, we would like to go to Poland. I say, I invite you. Poland is very welcoming. Maybe not as much as the Philippines, <laughs> but we are trying to catch up with you. Wow. <laughs> However, we don't have too much rice. When you come to Poland, mainly you eat bread, vegetables. Yeah, I've been there three times. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, you have survived, yeah. <laughs> so what I say, uh, I encourage you to come. We, can, we have a lot of share with you about Poland, a lot of spiritual places. So uh, when we do the pilgrimages organized by the office of our Angels Magazine, I am the spiritual director, and you just contact us and book your own flight to Krakow, and then I will meet you up at the airport and we'll spend one week together every day going to the different places and you will be in, in good hands and you will benefit from it. So, God's willing, if you are interested, contact us or contact you, we will, Mia, and, and, yes. and we will write Anton uh, Gonzalez. The my, number, the contact number friends. of me and Anton, uh, because we're going to uh, put graphics in, in the material that we're going to air on Saturday. So, we'll have Mia's number and Anton's contact number as well if they wish to travel to Poland come September 2025, is that right? Correct, yes, from Monday to Monday. If you want to come, you can come earlier and visit other places, but the pilgrimage itself is one week. We've done it nearly 20 times, and it worked because we have people from also from other countries. So it's the experience, what does it mean to be in that church? the community of brothers and sisters in Christ. And it's, it's in English. It's in English, so even if you speak Tagalog or Visaya, 
will contact you in English and you will manage. So you will be guiding this tour of others, is that right? Exactly. Okay. I will be the spiritual director, but also we have the local guides for each place to, to inform you more deeply about about the, 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 the uh, spiritual places. Your fellow media workers, Father, are we going to look at how your your media office is working? Can we look at it yes. also? Yes, yeah, of course. We, we have a YouTube channel, Ktushiak uh, Book, and also in English, The Angels. We have Facebook, Instagram. It's mainly in Polish. But we have also a lot of things in English, and what I want to say is uh, sometimes a lot of pictures, music, photographs, just to make people aware of, about about divinity, mm -hmm. about Jesus, not only. So do we pay a subscription for this, Father? Well, you have all the contacts inside, yes? Okay. Inside also you can order uh, an electronic PDF. Right. Actually, yeah. I scrolled, I searched your site and uh, I listened, well, only just, I skimmed. If uh, this was a newspaper, I skimmed to the headlines and uh, listened partly to some of your talks. So, Father, your trip to Central Philippines and many parishes around Cebu will come to a close when? Tomorrow. 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 Okay. I have two more venues tonight and tomorrow and back to Poland. I have another trip to England and then to Canada and then three parish missions in Poland in October. So it's for me it's normal. It's like your ministry, this is my ministry mm -hmm. to to proclaim the good news and to pray with the people. And September, October, December, very busy time, very busy time in, in Poland and in the Europe and even in the Philippines, as you see. In here, you are always busy, yes? The Filipinos are very hardworking people, correct? Yes, we are, Father. <laughs> so, this visit of yours to our island, what is your, what do you think are the highlights of this visit, Father? I would say a lot, a lot. First of all, the openness of the people. They are very open, very prayerful. We went to the mountain, to the mountain, which was far, dark, no electricity, no water from the top. So it was like the mission, and I found very, very joyful people, very peaceful. So they get their happiness from inside, not from outside, not from external things, but from being in the presence of God. So the highlight for me are the hearts of the Filipinos who follow Jesus. No, nothing external, because when people come to Cebu, they say, go to the waterfalls, mm -hmm. go to the beach, go to safari. Mm -hmm. No, I would say go to the yeah. people, pray with them, give glory to them, and see how they live, and how, see how them live, how they live and maybe become another Filipinos by applying for a Filipino mm. nationality. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can uh, grant you, uh, how do you call it, a special uh, legislative action for you to become a, a Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It would be a great honor, uh, I would say. But I think that also you have a lot of, a lot of people here, so you still need some priest to come to help. If one parish is 40,000 people and you have an opportunity to go to confession only twice a year because of the number of people, so I think all, that all the priests will be very welcoming in the Philippines. Am I, am I right? Did, are you talking about the dwindling number of uh, priests? 
Yes, that you always you can accept more priests for confession. Here in Cebu we have 600 priests and 200 churches. Ah, 600. Yeah. And the population. And so one, three priests for one church. Yes. Ah, Father, so yes, Father. That's a correct estimate. Cebu. And the population is 4.5 million. Ah, so nearly five. Yes. Ah, I see. You should visit also Capilina. That We're going there tonight. Tonight? San Remedio? Yes, probably. Tonight? That's the only in Asia, Capilina. The replica? The replica of uh, Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima. So they call it Our Lady of Fatima in the Far East, Father. The replica in San Remedio. And so another, when, yes, Father? Another thing is the Filipinos' hospitality. And they are very, very, very hospitable. They give you everything, everything from the heart, yes. from the heart. So because here you can find the real Christianity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you know that God is within their yes. hearts because they share what they have, yes. even if they have a little. Yes, even if uh, their own food in the table is scarce. Exactly. They will give what is in the table to the visitor. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more with it. I, I wish I could be like like you. So, Father, when do we see you next? If but you're leaving day after tomorrow? God's willing. <laughs> he has the plan. <laughs> Not me. He has the plan. If it is meant to be, I will see you in heaven, in Poland on the pilgrimage, or in the Philippines, or in... Well, what, wherever it's up to the Lord as you said we need to surrender and it's up to him he has the plan and he has the time but one thing is sure we will uh, coordinate with Mia and Anton and thank you guys for bringing Father Peter this is unplanned and this is not in your original itinerary but God will Father Peter to be here with us today. It has, thank you very much. It has been, thank you guys. It has been the blessing to be with you. And I want to finally bless you with the relic of St. Faustina. Yeah. All of the viewers, all the viewers, and I will pray for your Catholic television station and tell the Polish people about it so they can even watch online. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Father. Yes. So, are we going to stand? No, I can do it like what this. It? Okay. Totally fine. Open your hearts for the blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, fill you with the Holy Spirit, guide you, protect you through Saint Michael, and give you all the graces through the intercession of Saint Faustina, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And let's do St. Michael's prayer. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, angel, defend, defend us in the, the day of battle. battle. Be our protect against, against the wickedness and snares of, of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, him behind you humbly pray. pray. And do thou, Prince of the, the Heavenly Host, by, by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan. Satan. And all, all the other evil spirits of prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salamat. Thank you, Father, Salamat. Salamat. for being here. And we're going to share this uh, interview to the community. But of course, before that, we will have this uh, aired on Saturday at 9.30 in the morning. We should have done it live, but uh, since you're not available, this is uh, still the best. Having you here in the studio and having this uh, beautiful conversation with you, Father. So we thank Tatay Dodong for the opportunity for you to come here to guest in this uh, program called Faith in Action.
kita sa atong programa nga Faith and Action. And uh, what a blessing, no? Nga sa una nga segment ni niya itong tuluman nun, karong Sabaduha, ang atong nakauban. Uh, ang main anchor ni nga itong programa na si Tatay Dodong Limchua. But uh, right now, he is in Cagayan for another outreach uh, work, no? Mission work sa Oasis of Love Charismatic Community. Huwag among nakauban ni Tatay Dodong, ang visiting priest from Poland nga maho nga uh, well atong gimension gyud mga kaigsoonan nga usa ni siya ka sought after uh, og uh, inspirational nga speaker mga kaigsoonan sa devotion to Saint Michael the Archangel og sa divine mercy unya kay nahisgutan man ni Father uh, Peter Prosakiewicz uh, Congregation of Saint Michael the Archangel from Poland ang debusyon alang sa Divine Mercy, I thought it only proper mga higala nga agi usumpay nining atong uh, programa nining musunod nga 30 minutos atong uh, hisgutan ang mga updates sa umabot nga Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy slated on October 19 to 24 oh, sorry 9 to 14 the 14 to 14 to 24 yeah sa atong uh, IC3 in <laughs> Cebu City. Uh, na ay mga correction ini ang atong bisita nga why lain kundili ang hard working kaayo nga pangulo sa Shrine of Divine Mercy the Cebu Foundation Incorporated si Sis Ima B. Alfon. Ems, good morning and good morning. welcome. Good morning Sis Malo. Thank you for allowing us na naadin hi karon to share the uh, Asia fifth Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy we are the host is malo ang Cebu no so mao na nay ami karon na salamat kaayo sa imong pag-imbitar together with sa CCTN with Tatay Dodong nga it's a privilege gyud kaayo nga dako na naami karon diri so so this is going to be baligon ako October 14 to 19. 19. Yeah. There is atong uh, dakbayan sa Subo sa IC3. And so, unsa na kamusta ng atong mga preparations at this time, uh, sis? Uh, so far, karon kay Kuanata on the process na of closing the the registration, registration niya sa, sa six skin is malo the whole five days, no? Na, na, uh, to ang ma ilang matagamtaman ang Apostolic Congress on Mercy din sa Cebu. Unya, ang good news ani si Ismalo, Father Mar, who is our chairman, allow us to have one day, no? Nga, uh, sa, para ang mga Cebuanos ilagyod ma-feel ang Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy. So, kan, nga, it will happen o every three years, no? Nga, Dayon on Friday, uh, October 18, na ang uh, kani atong kinakusgan nga uh, speakers, mga speakers ana diha dapita na gituyo sa ni sa Ginoo nga na sila. So it's a one day. So it's a privilege na privilege nila nga mo mo taste the ka AECOM Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy with the fee of registration of 1000. So, atong giimbitahan ang mga neighboring ani nga mga probinsya labi na gyud no ang supragan ng diocese this malo ang Dumaguete uh, uh, Talibun Tagbilaran ug ang Maasin so kani eastern central ug western Visayas nga naa day ni siyang one day so okay so kini yung October 18 uh, as is mm. uh, you are saying uh, kanang open it to the public. No, open nga, to dili the public. sila kinahanglan nga mubayad at tong medyo dako dako sa biyod. No, because mga higala, ang registration is 6K for the five day uh, congress nga pagatambungan ining mga kung sa pinulungan pa ni Archbishop Jose Palma, mga heavyweights, gyud mm -hmm. ni, no, oh. nga mga speakers nga makahatag yun na to og uh, kanang deeper pag yun kapag sabot sa. Mm -hmm kining debusyon sa Divine Mercy. 
So, ang mga speakers on Mrs. Ames would be Reverend Father Chris Aylar hmm. of the Missionaries MIC. Oh, MIC, Father Natsia. Ang, ang yahang nga talk is caring for our communities through works of mercy. Hmm. Unya, he will be followed by Reverend Father Casimir Svalek, oh. <laughs> sa Missionaries <laughs> so, of uh, the Immaculate uh, Conception, conception yeah, nga mm. nagbase dito sa Stockbridge, okay. USA. Ang mm. talk ni Father excuse uh, ang yahalang first name, no? Oh. Uh, Father <laughs> Kazimir is the priest, lady, and youth as treasures of God's mercy. Mm. O ikahapon, si Reverend uh, Marvin Maceda, ang Bishop of the Diocese of San Jose de Antique, mm. uh, sa Antique, mga kaiksunan, o ang yahang uh, talk is titled The Divine Mercy Devotion My Journeys of Hope and Salvation Kung yeah. ikat 2.30 si Sims Ay hinig ka 2.30 ani naasad ang ato ang uh, Honorable Hila, ano yung Retired Rabin, Chief, Chief Justice, Justice no? nga si Hilario June Davide Kung mm. ang ihang topic si Sims The Divine Mercy Devotion My Journeys Hope and salvation in response. Yeah, ang si sharer ani si Smalley. Anang adlawa. Oh, anang adlawa. So, nindot yung ayaw ning uh, kanang uh, kahigayuna, no? Mm. Opportunity for our, uh, for the faithful in Cebu. Nga aning usaka adlaw, nga mahimo sila nga makasulod o makapaminaw sa mga talks aning adlaw mm. featuring two uh, um, visiting priests from Stockbridge, USA. Mm -hmm. Stockbridge, uh, Massachusetts. To us, uh, Stockbridge, uh, this is a National Shrine of Divine Mercy in mm -hmm. the U.S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kapila na ka magbalik-balik dito, Murag, sis Ames. Murag na ka-adto ng kuwani kaduha dito, no? Ka, ka sa imo ang ikatulo, imo ang pitihan ni sis Lisa. <laughs> oh, sis Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so, kuwan kayo, no? Kanang Nindot manggag kaayo ang 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 maong debosyon kay ato gud tan-aon si Smalo sa maggi na among emphasize this is not an ordinary devotion this is Jesus is the one devoting to us because he is the one instructing to Saint Faustina na uh, tell my priest no in fact mao ni mga igsuon na ang daay libro ani si Father Chris Aylar tell my priest no og ang uh, kanang understanding the divine mercy og ang katong kanang yang mga libro si Smalo nga mura ni siya kanang hot cake ba so money bestseller no so dili lang ta ani maguan so sa so first day sad mga igsuon it's also uh, open to the public pero those who have IDs and the registered participants can go inside the Basilica. At ang klaro ko sa oh. SMSA, nga, oh. ang day one, October, October 14, is mm. a Monday. Yeah. So, magsugod ni siya alas tres sa hapon, mm. uh, mauni ang uluhan sa programa Hour of Mercy, mm. o atong uh, anak diha i-recite ang Divine Mercy Chaplet. Mm. Ika 3.30, mga higala, mauna ni ang opening salvo, which is the opening mass at the Basilica Minore del Señor Santo Nino, O ang mangulo sa celebration, wala in kundili ang His Excellency Most Reverend Charles Brown, ang, ang apostolic nunsyo to the Philippines. The Philippines. Oh. So, kinaot nga, dili nato ni Palabio, no? Kaya mm -hmm. kundili mga ganita, maka-appeal ining uh, five-day nga Congress mga gala. So, na ay day one, which is open to the public. O ga, uh, amo lang niya ihatag ni Sis Ames ang uh, numero ko noon saon sa pagkuha sa uh, ID nga makaso dito. Dili ang, ang registrant nga kapag na-registered na nga maurag yung makasood sa Basilica kay sumala pa sa mga kanang kaparian nga ang Basilica will only accommodate 2,500 to 3,000 people. Kanara sa dito sa Pilgrim Center. Pilgrim Center. No? Okay. So, then so we can understand si uh, Ames nga medyo kanang kontrolado oh. no ang gita kanon sa manon mm. o kini gihatag nga kahigayunan nga to sa narehistro nga mga delegates, delegates and i hope can. our people will understand hinuon ang kini siya nga kining uh, programa si Sims mm. are we going to have this uh, live stream uh, 
wala pa na nato ma-discuss kay na apay ko ordination meeting karon ala uh, una sa, sa 24th with the with the pa, mga pare nga committees nato sis manu niya mao na nga ato ang ning kuan gi gi pangusgan kay it's a uh, kanang kana pareha na ko nga sa first nga isya na apostolic congress on mercy dito sa Manila pag 2009 dito ang na open akong kuan nga i have to help the arts diocese of cebu promoting the divine mercy devotion mm. so ang last nga aa com was systems was held in uh, dito sa pinang malaysia, malaysia. Oh, oh. and that was in uh, 2000, uh, december 2018 so okay. that before sa pandemic supposed to be sis malo this was also uh, be held unta ni ang fifth asian apostolic congress on mercy mercy atong 2021 but that's so the covid sa uh, covid no mm. yeah hong kong unta ang host ani but karon ta na lang sa sa restriction sa tanan mm-hmm. nga kuan so di, dili sa sila magpasod so anhi karon gihangyo through sa ni sa ato ang first na speaker ni ni most reverend Dennis Bishop Bilarojo sa Arts Diocese of Malolos Bulacan nga gihangyo ang grupo nga ipa kun mosugot bata nga kitay mo Ah, may nom do man ko ana mo ra man ka og hold up dito sa Malolos oh. when you attend the conference <laughs> so uh, sa loob ko ni rato ha <laughs> kay ka hibaw magod si Bishop uh, uh, Villarojo no nga ang kining mga devotees sa uh, Cebu labi na gyud ang kining nagdumala sa Shrine of Divine Mercy the Cebu Foundation Inc nga gipanguluhan ni Sis Ima nga dili ni mo balibad pero kay ba og god na im nga reservation si sis ima <laughs> pero uh, kay gisangunan man no uh, wala ka balibad in town kay ang divine mercy na biya gyud mm-hmm. ang nihang yo practically ni sis ima oh. so do not update diri uh, courtesy of lisa nga ang atong mga speakers uh, international speakers so we have five mm-hmm. unya duha duha ka mga local uh, speakers og ang mga sharers nato nine kabo siam kabo oh. so ang mga witnessing nila and ni systems are also very powerful nga oh. kanang maayo gyud ni nga mapaminaw no madugog sa atong mga kaigsoonan but i am uh, struck by what you said uh, sis og nga mm. nga kini siya nga debosyon kita ba Ma- maghatag ta og debosyon sa mga Santo sa mahal nga Birhen Maria hmm. but in the case of the devotion to the divine mercy base sa diary ni Saint Faustina ang Ginoo devoted na to hmm. devoted siya ang siya ang naghatag sa devotion hmm. no dili siya ni diktar diktar gyud even the chaplet of the divine Saint mercy saying the chaplet sis malo and he she, he is specific gyud si Jesus specific sa three o'clock prayer no nga ningon gyud siya nga whatever you ask during sa my mm-hmm. sa iyang death and passion which is the three o'clock no kay na ibawan na nato friday so ningon din siya nga i will give whatever you ask for in my name in my name provided according to his will dili sa ato no <laughs> okay magbot-bot ba itag pagandiyan oh, okay so, so mo demand yeah. saying the chocolate also <laughs> It's a, saying the chaplet. We are not seeing it for us. Mm-hmm. We are seeing uh, for the sake of His sorrowful passion, no? Have mercy on us and on the whole world. So, diha na ang 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 devotion. Ug kanisad nga ang chaplet. Di sa ni siya ordinary kay iya man jud ni gihatag gidiktar. Gidiktar sa iyang secretary. Sa iyang secretary nga si Saint Faustina. O diha na dungog na to sis kaganiha sa kini nga uh, sharing sab no mm-hmm. ni Father Peter katong Polish nga pare nga nibisita diri sa atong uh, programa sa atong station nga mm-hmm. kini ang secretary man god no kanang duol gyud siya sa manager manager hungungan niya og ang manager sa uh, maupay kana bang tungod sa mga uh, daghang kaka niya mga buluhaton mm-hmm. so ang password og ang pintuwa dito so, sa secretary. secretary. So ingon ana gyud ka kamahinungdanan sa role ni Saint Faustina. Oh. So sis, uh, 
Karit lang kayo kay kini wala magud ni nato makover no. Oh. Ang katong pag uh, talk paghatag ni Father Peter sa iyahan ng mensahe ngadto sa murag mga unom bato ka mga branches sa Cofradia oh, the Saint of uh, Saint uh, no Cofradia mm. of uh, the Paris of Saint Lourdes. Mm. No? Sa ba nakalimot na ko <laughs> o kung sa ni Cofradia oh, the naka Nakatin mi ato together with Sister Lisa and Kalil no nga sa iyahan humili ni ingon jud siya nga kanang bulahan ta diri sa Pilipinas kay we embrace the devotion totally nya wa siya nag-expect nga inadto kadaghan and the pa- people here are smiling oh always <laughs> in the shot if mar- at siya ato man ang madas madaka no taniya dito sa pulan iya kita dalhon kay to teach the people to smile no dito sa pulan wala pa pagutan na niya da nga wag sige lang dai kiss dong di magtao oh, dito sa ma- sa euro magmukot yeah. ra ni sila dito oh even <laughs> kanon sa sa it's so formal kanon during kanang unsa ni sa sa misa no hmm. nga ato adiri jali bay atong mas no nga nindot bay ang ang, ang kuan sa tao ba so ibaw e kasis no kana mo gyud na kanunay nako na madungog sa mga langyaw nga mga bisita nato. I mean, mm-hmm. I have been entertaining in programs dire sa CCTN. Ining mm-hmm. mga mga uh, dagkong mga opisyales sa uh, kooperatiba sa US, mm-hmm. sa Europe o imbis nga nila hang role sa ilang pagduaw dire sa ato ah, is to impart ilahang mm-hmm. i-share diha nato yeah, ang ilahang mga learnings no nga kanang Uh, nagtuo sila nga wala na ito madawat mm. but in the process ilang pagduaw din he, ang ilahag yun nga take away mm. nga daghang yun ka ay sila nakuha diri nga mga nindot ka ayaw nga mga pagtulunan sa ato in, sa ato ang kultura nga ka nang madasigun ta dili ta magpalupig aning ato mga problema, problema. magnitaan yun atong solusyon ng atong problema bisag unsa pa ka unsa pagkalisod sa sitwasyon mga igala. So it is our perseverance and our resilience no? nga nakita ining mga co-op leaders from abroad. O bisa nakaroon sa atong interaction with Father Peter nga mm-hmm. nakita niya nga ang resilience nato ang atong perseverance o atong faith mm-hmm. maugoy nag-define maugoy. sa mga Pilipino. Mauna mga kaigsunan nga katubit ang pag-apil, pag-duaw din Father Peter nga katong cute kaayo nga sa Tuninyo icon no nga among girigalo ni Tatay Dodong Limchuad no, uh, nga tunia and then mo nagi-caption ako sa akong post karong adlaw sa Facebook nga there was an exchange of sacramental gifts ang yang gift nga rin nato katong rosaryohan o katong bato no nga nakuha dito sa grotto in Saint Gargano in the year 450 something nga gi uh, gituhuan nga ni appear dito si uh, San, Miguel. San Miguel de Arcangel o ganang ang bato nga naglibot ato nga, nga lugar no mm-hmm. dito sa Saint uh, dito sa Gibraltar o nya gibutang dito sa grotto sa Gar- Mount Gargano sa Italy mao na ni ang kanang mga mga relics, relics nga giapod karon oh. sa mga diboto sa eh, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel. Archangel. So, mauna siya si Amos nga. Mm. Uh, similarly, no? mm. si Father Peter nakakita yun sa kanindot sa atong kultura. Mm. Nabisan pa sa atong mga mga Problema. kalisdan <laughs> din. Eh, kalisdan, ano? Kinibitang. <laughs> Ikapila naman yung bagyo karon nga nibisita din sa atong nasod. Ining buwan lang sa September oh. sis, lima. lima. Oh. <laughs> o, ikalima ang karon bagyong bagyo. Helen? Helen. Oh. Okay. Just, yeah, diba? Shout out ni Helen. <laughs> ang imuha nga si Sinyo. Ang bago pa nga nag-birthday. <laughs> Karong buwan na. Oh, ato, yeah. ato, so, belated happy ato, birthday niya ni Mulen. Mike, kayo mo nag-ipalaya sa ang bagyo <laughs> bagyong <laughs> Helen. Okay, sis, usap pa yung mga importante kaayo sa ato. So, Divine last, Mercy, 5th hmm. AA com. Oh. So, karon registered bishop lang wala pa ta kahibawa ni kanan salig ba nagud ng mga bishop nga free na sila no so <laughs> so kanang yung mga bishop diyan mga kay igsuunan mga fellow devotees i register ta na kay tulo pa ang bishop diri nga ni register 
Unya, natay lokal as of karon uh, adlawa 2244. So, ang international 174 na ni sila, unya, total sa tanan karon nga delegates is 2431. So, ani is malo, nagsige na may balibad aning tag 6000 nga kanang delegates kay so gabi eh na ana sa inikuan pag ingong ko nga as taga asa ka what are the what the uses are you sus kay taga kuan naman san taga dento Papua New Guinea oh, oh international mo kuan na pud sila iko dawatan no dawaton na nato eh kay ang international wa pa man may kaabot sa kuta <laughs> so ila may kuta ani eh? 500 oh go oh, so, Two thousand five hundred the guy tattoo. No, what I mean is, ang kota nato for international ba? Oh, unta two thousand five hundred yun unta. One five, one five. Okay. Pero wala jud ka abut kay. Kaya ba bayak ang si ang si Pope Francis bag upan ng ato sa Asia so. Sa Papua New Guinea kyo. Sa Papua New Guinea karon ng namagus ni sila di ba? Part up dahil sila no sa pagduaw dito sa atong pinalang ka ng Pope Francis onya kanang Nahisgutan mag yun na nato, sis, no? Mm. Ang kanang visit sa atong Santo Papa sa uh, Asia, ano, siya niya. Yeah. Oh. Uh, first, ang Indonesia. Oh, and then, Papua New Guinea. Oh. And then, Jakarta. Uh, oh. Indonesia. Oh. And then, oh, uh, Singapore. Singa no, last month of oh. Singapore, Timor Leste. Timor, oh, Leste. Mo na to, ang second to the last niya oh. nga, kanang leg sa iyaha nga, Asia, o siya niya nga, pagbisita. Unya mo gyud ni agi tumbok sa atong sa tupapa nga kanang murasan siya o kanang na energized baya sis mm. no kay Ocente City anyos na baya na siya unya mm. iyaha pud nga mga lugar mga tawo nga nag nagalima niya nag take care niya nagkuan sila mura og uh, worried Boy. sila oh. no nga makalahutay ba siya sa kining leg uh, niya stress, stress no oh. o kanang na ang sa lugar hectic kaayo nga schedule mm. Kay may raba o ka nang naang muuad to siya ini mga lugar nga aircon, bugno, grabe na bagyo kayo, no? Init kayo kay oh, Asia ba yan? Asia. O pero sus pastilan, ang Santo Papa o ang yahang entourage, mm. no? Kanang na, na energized, na revitalized, okay. na inspired, Puno. na recharged uh -huh. sa ilahang pagduaw sa Asia o Gusyanya. O muna na explanation sis, uh -huh. sa akin ng kadasig karoon sa mga taga Papua New Guinea nga moapil oh, mo nining atong Divine so, Mercy nag, Congress so usa man gidawat nimo na, oh nag nag set na man gud ta unta gahapon na lang gud ang kuan ang last day so karon kay manghangyo man then na ma, mao pud ingon ang instruction ni Father Ilar dito ni shout out ni sa Sister Aida Manasan nga sa our of three ni ingon siya ni instruct gud siya if possible ang walk-in, yung kuno, entertain the walk-in ko, ang 1,000 na lang atong entertain doon, kay, kanang, mao man eh, kanang ato ang gipaabot ang mga taga Cebu, uh, uh, sa mga probinsya, mudansa, there is atong asis malo. No? Kanang mga walk-in? Oo, walk Nga kanang, mao man eh, atong sakit, no? Nga kanang, kung kanos ang adul na kayo, <laughs> anha pang magpalista. Mamao. Iba ba kasi sa unsay ko ano na? Unsay term ano sa mga journalist? Ang zaman. Nga ang <laughs> deadline karon <laughs> oh Unya, alas do sa hapon. Nga magpalista pa. <laughs> unya ang, mao pa'y pagsuwat. <laughs> nga karon ang hapon, kipangayo sa editor. Ang sakit ano, no? Deadlineitis. Deadlineitis. <laughs> <laughs> Nada tayo ano. Mao na ini si ano niya. Mao na si Ismalo. Ang kanisa paabutun pa yun ni sa mga taga-Asian ang kaning ika Thursday. This is the Paris Immersion. Wow. wow. Kini bago ni si Isa? Is this new? No. Sa una, gibuhat na ni sa pag ice kapang ay isit, no? Na to. Pero wala kita kay bawa to kay wala bang yun kay ta... Ah, nakita na ako na sis kay nag-cover ko sa immersion nila dito sa Mabolo. Oo. Oh. So, Nanindot kayo kay ang kultura, nagi kultura oh, nga kipakita. Oh, Sayaw, sinulog. Mm, yes. So, mao ni karon sis malo, ni, ni choose taog, sila si Father Mar, ni, ni choose og 11 ka mga parishes. parishes so. Nga libo no sis? Uh, kuan, ang cathedral, siyempre no, kay mao may ato mother church, then 
our diocesan shrine sa Saint Teres, Mabolo, no, Saint Joseph Mabolo, um, Alliance of Two Hearts, um, Banawa, oh, Banawa, Capitol, Paris, uh, our, our, our Lady of, of Sacred, Sacred Heart. Heart, so Santo um, Rosario, Santo Ros, kadang san, wala sa Santo Rosario, ang um, um, Gudalupe, ang San uh, San Tolentino sa Pasil na uh, sa in San Nicolas de Tolentino mm. onya dayon ang San Roque de Risa uh, subang dako nya kana Mandawi uh, Mandawi so mm. basa 11 ni sila kay dagha, dagha. so these are uh, important parishes magayala no uh, mm. una nga butang murag guapa po ni uh, wala ko ana no offense ato uh, <laughs> wala mga mapili nga Ma-appeal sa immersion. I'm, I'm trying to say nga, makita diha I mean, ang like beauty, it. mga kaiksunan, sa kining atong arts diocese, no? Oh. Tungod kay Gipili Mane. Appeal ba ang St. Joseph Shrine? Oh, appeal ba rin? O ang Berhen de la Regla? Wala na, kay layo na okay. sa traffic. So, kani kay, naan na lang kanong tagi, five minutes. <laughs> so, atong i-discussed ang the highlight of the the first time mga mo happen, nga diri sa ato as a arts as arts diocese of Cebu kani good mga igsuon open sa public ni ala stress sa kadlawon mata na ta so we have experience na walk for Jesus walk for mercy karon naman walk for mercy kinsa ra man ang inyong makit-an ani nga sa karo tulo ra gyud ang nag-abli sa sa maong debosyon kon og nag-approve sa maong debosyon, mao si St. Pope John, John Paul, Paul na second. second. Siya ni siya. No? O ang kini is the reunion of World Youth Day. No? Nga katong, kung kamo, apil mo atong 1994, sus, na nawagan mi ninyo, this is the first time. Then, uh, si St. Faustina, no? Siya sa ni, o niya, ang, ang, ang ikatulo, ang ato, ang Divine Mercy. And this is Monsignor Marnil, no? Mihiya kon kuan kanyor kanang nagpaminaw ka rin yun. Shout out diha ni Monsignor. Shout out din yun ni Father Batitoy o ni Father Dodong di Soyo. Kay sila yun ang mo mo ang ang main kuana ni kanang character. Okay. Atong klaruhan si sa so October 19. Adlaw kini nga Sabado mga gala, mauni ang conclusion, no? ah. ang pagtapos sa atong 5th AA com. So 3 AM, alas 3 sa kadlaon, assembly time in front of the Cebu City Public Library oh. sa Osmania Boulevard. Mm. Ika 4.30 ang pagsugod na sa procession. So anha diya sa Cebu City Public Library dapit, mm. and then magsugod ang procession, mahuman, uh, sa Basilica Minore del Santo Nino o ika 6 o'clock ang culminating mass nga pag panguluhan sa uh, wala pa no, <laughs> wala. pa Mrs. Lisa oh. so to be determined TBD, mm. TBD. No? TBD. to oh. be determined mauna mga gala ang importante sa kaayo nga hinaot nga inyong hapod ni nga ubanan uh, puhon o niya ato lang po ni nga ipahibaw o niya sis no? kung uh -huh. kining mga mga talks during the Congress, kung ma-share ba ni nato sa publiko, kaya naman tayo ongoing karon nga negotiations sa Osaka production team gikan sa Manila. Muna good news nato sis, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but ato pa nang i-finalize. Mientras uh -huh. tanto sis, agi-isinyasa naman ta diri sa atong technical uh -huh. director, <laughs> Jurex, nga wana, napupos na yun ang atong uh -huh. ora. So sis, your parting statements is. So, mga igsuon, daghang kay salamat, Sister Malo, on sa, sa kang tatay dodo, nga gialaw na ta, mga guest di revisan sa, sa kuan, no, daghang kay tayo isulti, pero na akong managyod. yun. So, mga igsuon, ayaw si Piata, o ayaw yun din yun, kanang usiki ang oras, attend ka mo sa 5th Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy, kay wala ta kahibaw, asa ni sunod, no, if it will happen every three years. So, kini is a privilege yun sa, sa, sa Cebu, nga ni Ata, na ang held there. So, daghang kay salamat through the kuha ni Bishop Palma sa iyang blessing nato to. Sa mga kaparian ni Father Lucas o ni Monsignor 
uh, kintanar nga mawa nga mong apong haligi sa Divine Mercy. So, daghang kay salamat. Okay. Salamat sa Divosis for <laughs> dropping <laughs> by. Oh. Ang presidente, ang presidenta sa Shrine of Divine Mercy di Cebu Foundation Inc. Ang uh, foundation mga igala, no? Nga atas sa Archdiocese of Cebu nga mawa nag tend over sa Shrine diya sa Garing Consolasyon. In fact, usap po niya sa uh, kanang ato po niya i-finalize ko na abay mga delegates na mabisita o niya dito, dito sa right. Garing. Again, TBD. So, mga higala, diri lang kukutob sa ngala ni Tatay Dodong Limchua, Nanay Dayan, o sa atong technical crew and working uh, staff diri sa atong programa Faith in Action. Akong pasalamatan sa si Liza o si Kalil sa ilahang mga notes nga gishare diri sa atong pag Uh, hatod ni ni mga importante kaya nga mga mensahe alang sa umabot nga 5th Asian Apostolic Congress on Mercy uh, October 14 to 19 2024 IC3 Cebu City until then may adlaw and God bless <laughs>